SAP offers various UIs for SAP S4 HANA. However, a distinction must also be made between SAP S4 HANA Cloud and on-premise SAP S4 HANA. In this video, we'll give insights into the different possibilities. For on-premise SAP S4 HANA, SAP continues to offer classic access via SAP GUI, which must be installed locally on the computer. This figure shows the access screen, where you enter your user ID and password. After you're in the system, it's irrelevant whether the access was made with SAP GUI or with the web GUI. The old SAP GUI may be a bit more familiar and practical because you can start it directly from your PC. From a company's point of view, SAP GUI can also be advantageous because employees don't need access to the internet and can work only in the company network. An easier and more convenient alternative is access via the web GUI. All you need here is a browser, the URL, and access authorization. This access is also possible via mobile devices. The login screen for the web GUI is shown on the screen. Here, you enter your username password and choose your language. After logging in, you'll see the SAP menu in the traditional list form, as shown. An important component of SAP S4 HANA is the completely redesigned user experience, called SAP Fiori. This replaces the traditional transaction codes of the SAP GUI with a web-based UI. This login page immediately boosts the expectation that you're about to access a new SAP world. After the login, you're greeted by a visually designed UI that allows a very intuitive use of the various functions. The SAP Fiori home screen gives you an overview of all available apps grouped by categories and with the possibility to work with the search function. The edit homepage function enables you to design your individual workspace. This allows the concrete role and working environment of the respective user to be taken into account. The user will be assigned to business roles, such as general ledger accountant. To the business roles, specific apps are assigned. Tiles for apps that are specific to your business role appear when you access the system. However, functionality is more important than visual design. With SAP Fiori, SAP offers ready-to-use apps that make your work easier and provide additional insights. For users who work in the system, the App Finder offers a practical way to find the apps available for their task area. Regarding the function of the apps, SAP offers the following three types. Transactional apps are used to perform business process transactions or maintain master data. Example apps are Post General Journal Entry, Manage Supplier Invoice, Manage Cost Center, and Post Activity Allocation. The master data transactional apps are especially important because they provide a more user-friendly way of reviewing, creating, and changing master data by downloading and uploading. Many approval apps are personalized to the specific user and offer the ability to review, confirm, or reject documents when the user has the approver role. Analytical apps are used to display real-time analytics on actual and planned data, including KPIs. There are numerous examples for these useful apps. These apps provide a drag-and-drop method for pulling in general ledger dimensions for reporting on journal entry item or balance details. As mentioned, in principle, all universal journal fields are now available as reporting dimensions. Report results can be downloaded to Microsoft Excel and then converted to a graph for quick visual analysis. In addition, a report-to-report -report interface is available that allows further detail analysis with a different view. Fact sheet apps are used to display key facts about master data and to navigate directly to associated master data or business transactions. Fact sheet apps allow you to drill down to display or edit associated master data and relevant business transactions.